Welcome to Terry Tutorials. Today we're going to make our home page a versatile PHP file. Uh, this is basically just uh, making uh, include files so that when we update a element on the page we don't have to do it to each PHP file. So the first step that I am going to make is I'm going to create a new file. We're going to name this uh, index.php. Uh, remember we designed it on HTML and the PHP file is actually where we're going to put it now. So we can just copy this uh, title tag here. Uh, we can get a little advanced with the title tags and dynamically change them upon what the page is for PHP files, but we'll get onto that later in this uh, series. Uh, then we're going to copy paste this style here because this is actually for the background and I think that no matter what we have to keep this in here for the background effect to stay the same because uh, we've ran into that issue beforehand. Uh, then I'm going to make a main.css file so new file main CSS and if you are using notepad right now you have to put uh, quotations around your file name so just go uh, file save as and then put quotations around whatever the name of your file is so we can just copy paste this entire block of CSS and then go into our main CSS here and just drop it in there and then save that file and then we can uh, close out of our CSS and we can delete these uh, styles here. Now the first uh, PHP tag that we're going to be using is it's called the include statement um, and this is used for including elements such as the header in our page so we're going to get to that a little, a little bit later. Uh, but I come back here in the head, and since we made an external style sheet, we're going to have to link up the style sheet to our page. So, style sheet. We're going to have to do type equals text CSS, no, not JavaScript, CSS, and then href, and then the name of our CSS, which is main.css and then close that out. And that'll link our CSS page up to this uh, index.php page. The next thing that we're going to be doing is making the header left uh, so we can dynamically update it. So for this we are going to make a uh, .inc file. So name your .inc file whatever you want to name it. I'll just put uh, header left .inc which is an include file and then if we open the include file up it's blank so basically all we have to do is just copy this division here so copy paste and then delete this vi division here and then we do a php tag php include and then we're going to have to include this header left inc so header left dot inc and I just realized that I'm doing this from the HTML page, so let me just uh, copy this into there. Let me just uh, get my bearings right here. Just copy this whole. All right. So, and then we have to close out our PHP tag there. So this uh, .html file will be deleted, so we can just go into here. Uh, next we're going to do header right. So come in here and make a new file. Name it header right. And I think you just have one R in there. And it, it doesn't have to uh, exactly match whatever your class name is. And we I screwed up on that. Okay, so now we can copy and paste exactly what we did last time. Um, copy, paste, save, save, and we can close out of these two things, and then we just use our nifty little PHP statement here, statement include, um, header, write, dot inc, close that out. Uh, you can do include once, and there's like a require include. Uh, there's different styles of include, uh, 
but they all accomplish the same task. Some of them just require that the uh, include file be loaded mandatorily so the page has that element. But we're just going to be using this include here. Uh, the next one here is our main. Uh, we are going to leave the main there. Uh, sometimes you can just put dynamic stuff inside that main. Let me just bring this up a bit. Uh, the, the main does not need to put, be put into a .inc file because it's going to be dynamically changed so many times that we're going to have to be changing that .inc file. So we can keep it from here, and keep this, keep that. Uh, the sidebar here can be turned into a include file. So let's do a new file, include, or not include, sidebar. .inc, open up our sidebar.inc file, and copy paste its division file save, put a, a PHP, include sidebar.inc, close out our PHP tags there. And then, of course, our footer here can be turned into an include file, or a inc file. So just name it footer inc. Open up the footer and just copy and paste this entire division here. Save that and close out of that and close out of that. And, uh, you can actually just use the same <coughs> PHP tags that we have up here. So include footer.inc, just like that. Uh, so this is our main, actually this division is part of the wrapper. Uh, so you can see that we just took integral parts like the header left, header right, sidebar, footer, and just put them in here and include statements. Uh, this sidebar is going to be having news on it, so it could get a little tricky uh, actually embedding news in here. So we might need to take it out of the .inc file, or we can make a method or a function in, in PHP, as it's called, that will insert information into this actual uh, .inc file. So that's pretty much the uh, tutorial for today. Uh, the next tutorial, I am probably going to get to the point where we are going to be making a profile Actually, probably not profiles, probably probably news. Anyways, uh, please go to techertutorials.com and subscribe. Thank you.